Hey guys, welcome to part 9. I checked this time, yeah, it's part 9. So welcome to part 9 of this Etrian Odyssey Nexus playthrough. And uh, this time we're going to go through Waterfall Woods, I think it is. Yeah? Uh, but you'll see here that I made a new team. And uh, we'll, we'll meet him in a second. We'll meet him in a bit. Uh, let's just step into this dungeon first. So yeah, Waterfall Woods, it is from Etrian 3. It's a game that has not been remade, and I really hope they remake it. We really need an Etrian Untold 3, like, for real. Uh, more on that later, let me just read this, read through this text. Um, you set foot in a newly discovered forest filled with foliage, foliage and trickling streams. Uh, a colorful collage of flowers dazzles you. This place feels almost like a nature trail rather than a labyrinth. However, no matter how beautiful it may be, it's still, da it's still a dangerous place. You acknowledge that you must advance with caution. And uh, by caution it means you're gonna leave. Yeah. So remember whenever you go into a new uh, floor or like a new labyrinth like step in there and then just leave and the reason why is you can accept new quests and like complete the quest as you go through the floor like you kind of like kill two birds with one stone um but uh here's this character <laughs> i can't say her name H how do you even say it napier 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 i don't know i'm just really bad at reading and anyway so she says oh it's you just the people i wanted to see if you get us if you get a second would you mind stopping by the firm I'll be waiting it's not good uh, let's just stop by there first welcome uh, it's you just who I wanted to see I have an issue I'd like you to handle for me now I wouldn't normally forward this type of thing to the tavern but since you're such good customers I'd like to entrust this directly to you so how about it and uh, before we accept, yeah, my cat is in like a really meowy mood, so apologies if you hear her. <laughs> um, okay, so, uh, well, that's good. Although, it was rather foolish of you to agree without asking for any details of my request. I mean, it's true, but... You haven't been duped into buying any invincibility charms or treasure-seeking crystal balls, have you? I'm getting all worked up. Listen well, I'm only going to say this once. Ooh. I want you to assist in training a client, a certain prospective adventurer. I've mentioned before that I used to keep shopping in Ocean City far away, haven't I? Well, an acquaintance of mine from there joined me when I relocated to Meginia. She seemed tal talented enough for adventuring business, but sometimes I'm not so sure. I'm glad she wants to contribute, but to be honest, other adventurers who joined her party have all considered her a lost cause. <laughs> I could have just turned a blind eye, so I contemplated on it until, finally, I remembered your guilt. My request to you is simple. Accompany her into the labyrinth and battle monsters. She should be able to pick up uh, a thing or two from such skilled adventurers as yourself. Of course, I wouldn't be asking to do this for free. Okay, now I'm starting to like this character. You know. I promise that there will be a reward, so are you going to do it? Let's ask about the reward. <laughs> You'll receive half of the reward once you've uh, successfully helped her train and return from the forest. Well, asking about the reward is proof enough that you're interested in the job, yeah? Alright then, I'm counting on you. Client's name is... Karis? That's like a CH that you say, you say K instead of CH, right? Karis? I don't know. Anyway. She said she'll be waiting at the newly discovered labyrinth, the Waterfall Wood. And what about the rest of the reward? <laughs> Why, that's my finder's fee for commissioning such a capable guild for my client. I mean, she has a point, but half is like a lot. I don't know. It's kind of greedy. Um, okay. New quest. Taste for home. Another request from Ness, uh, Napier. Looks like this one's gonna send you to Waterfall Wood. 
Like always, it's best if you head over to Nepirus. Oh, I gotta go back there again. And uh, the next quest. Oh, you're gonna pick up that request. Thanks. Best that it's your guild, seeing as the client is someone you know. Do you remember the apothecary? Okay, oh God, the apothecary who wanted ingredients for a sleeping trap. The one whose face is all black and blue. What's that? I did that to him. See, this is why I like this character. So I like, I like. Let's forget that happened. This time, his wife made the request. She says her husband hasn't woken up at all. That psychedelic sleeping drought prob probably put him through the ringer. No, I didn't ring him out. Fortunately, he's still alive. He's just not waking up from his psychedelic dream world. Sounds like he's living the life, right? He did this to himself, but I suppose we've got to do something about it. That's why I'm glad you're taking on this request. Right then. I'm gonna wake up that slumbering apothecary. Turns out his wife is also an apothecary. <laughs> and she wants to retrieve the materials to make an extremely potent brew. She'll need five green thorns. So we're just killing all that text just to tell us we're killing monsters. Like, bringing back their pieces. Um, oh, you again looking to buy something too? No. The look on your face says you heard from my request. Looking to add another item. Uh, so three gum throats from the forest frogs. Fine. Fine. Okay. All that out of the way. Now, let's go into the forest. And uh, someone remind me after, I, like when I go back to town, let me show you how to unlock a maze that I forgot to do. One of you guys listening to this, remind me. <laughs> uh, when you take your first steps into the labyrinth, a voice suddenly comes out to you. Hey, are you the Tripper's Guild? You turn in the direction of a cheery voice and see a girl clad in shiny steel armor. You came from Nepir's firm, right? I'm Karis. I'm a protector. Yeah, so she said Karis. I heard her voice. It's in Japanese, but she said Karis, not Charis. Anyway, she proudly introduces herself, then bows to you. I'm trying to get a lot stronger, so I want to fight alongside a great guild like yours, so I can get more experienced. Karis looks at you with a sparkle in her eye. You should probably bring her along to fight monsters, then offer her tips for improvement. Oh, so she actually joined my team. Oh, cool. Cool. Right? Yeah, look, she's even down there. Let's see her stats. So she doesn't have a shield equipped. She's a protector doesn't have a shield equipped. Yeah, she's... No wonder her... <laughs> Guild said she's a lost cause. Oh, man. So she's gonna be one of those, like... Uh, like, cheerful, sort of, I can't do anything right characters, isn't she? I'll do it, I won't lose. Kara seems eager, but you're more concerned than excited. She's a protector, yet she's left her shield on her back. Yup. Called it. Okay, so this team. Uh, this character, he has the Dark Hunter portrait, but he is a Harbinger. And my Harbinger, well, Harbingers, first of all, they like mainly focus on well they do a lot <laughs> they focus on debuffing the enemy causing status elements and they can also heal the party in like a pinch mine though I'm making I'm gonna make him like ignore ailments for now and just focus on debuffing and some healing uh, that said though <laughs> his scythe lets him use this ability here uh, vine grab arm it's an attack all right this guy right here this bear He's, uh, it's a bear portrait, but he's a uh, pugilist, and uh, pugilists are fist fighters, right? They like punch the enemy, but uh, they specialize in binding. I think 
they might have the highest bind rates. Oh, sorry. Man, I keep yawning. I think they have the highest bind rates in the game. If they don't, it's like a close second. But, uh, let's bind these guys. Actually, let's try a headbind. And, uh, here's Rudo. He's a hero. Resident hero. Right. You can see here I have all these abilities. <laughs> this is what happens when you get level 20. Like, you gain a lot of abilities. Like, I love seeing this, like, hitting the skill button. The skills. And just seeing all these abilities. It's cool. He's just gonna be, like, a tank for the group. Uh, this person has a ninja portrait, just because I think it's pretty cool looking, but she's a Night Seeker. Uh, Night Seekers, basically, they're one of like the stronger classes of the game. They uh, focus, they're kind of like Harbinger, where they, but they're more focused on dealing, uh, inflicting elements, and then they deal extra damage to enemies with that have elements. So they're, um, they're one of those, those kinds of people. Now this last class, right here. Uh, I have a Hexer portrait, but they're an Arcanist. Arcanist is probably my favorite class. <laughs> it changes per week. But uh, Arcanist, they can uh, they put down these circles, right? Like Curse, Nerve, Sleep. They can also do uh, bind circles. So like they can bind arms, head, legs. And uh, at the end of the turn, it just tries to bind or uh, put an element on the enemy. And uh, these abilities here that are grayed out, Dismiss Heal, Dismiss Revive, Dismiss Blow, you can use them once you put a circle down. It, it like gets The circle normally lasts, I think, four turns, maybe three. And uh, this gets rid of the circle, like Dismiss Heal, and it heals the team. Dismiss Revive, Dismisses the circle and tries to revive. Dismiss Blow deals damage. Yeah. Oh. And this is the NPC she can only defend. <laughs> So yeah, this team here is very focused on, it's like hyper focused on uh, elements and locking the enemy down. Yeah. Okay, so that enemy is asleep, right? Let me switch some stuff. So Hinks, my Night Seeker, has this ability, Shadow Bite. It, uh, it's a melee cut to one enemy with increased damage against ailing enemies, so it's probably going to kill this sleeping guy here in like one shot. Probably. Let's see. Yeah. 583 damage. Crazy. But that's again only if they have an ailment on them. So... All my guys are blinded. Let's just auto attack this to get a death. Yeah, that sleep is coming from the Arcanist. Really love that class. Alright, you instruct Karis to ready her shield. Oh, that totally slipped my mind. Now I've got it. Karis cheerfully equips her shield. Did she really, though? Okay, she did. <laughs> Why is she here? She needs to go back to like the first dungeon. I think I, I think I mapped this wrong. It's fine. It's fine. No one cares. <laughs> um. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I don't think this map is a repeat from three. I mean, so far it looks the same, kinda. But, decently different. Okay. You meet another adventurer in a dead end of the forest. They're snacking on some small fruits from a nearby tree. Those look tasty. The adventurer takes notice of you and introduces, introduces themselves as Kincaid from the Blades Guild. Kincaid then offers you a fruit. Saying your meeting here must be fate. You consider whether you should accept or refuse the offer. Oh, I'm gonna accept. You happily accept Kincaid's offer and take the fruit. You promptly pop it into your mouth. So good. Uh, the rich juices burst in your mouth and you can feel your fatigue fading away. Yeah, TP and HP heal. 
After eating your fill of fruits, you shake hands with Kincaid. You wish each other well, then return to your exploration. Cool. It's fun. I mean, I only fought one battle. I don't think I really needed it. <laughs> I didn't really need the heal yet, but it's cool. Okay. This time. This time I've got it. Karis lifts her shield, but she's hiding behind it with her eyes tightly squealed shut. Oh boy. Alright. That's good. Um, okay, so. Harbinger has this ability here. Wilting Miasma. And for three turns, it lowers all enemies' ailment, resistance, and natural recovery. So he's like super important for element teams because it, it makes it easier to land elements. Uh, later on, he has another ability that makes it land easier to land binds, but not yet. Not yet. Hmm. So my Night Seeker is faster than my Harbinger, so it means on the first turn, my Night Seeker's abilities don't get, their status element abilities don't get that boost from a Wilting Miasma. So with equipment, I can fix that, hopefully. I, I think. Damn, that, that sleep circle is so good. Alright. Um, before I go on, uh, okay. uh, well, first let's read this. You advise Karis to keep her eyes open during battle. S sorry, I was caught off guard, and it was a, a reflex. Karis insists that she'll get it right next time. You take her along with you to search for another enemy to fight. You know, somehow I doubt it. she is. I doubt it. Uh... Okay, this is why my Harbinger is going slower. It's because their Miasma armor is only level 2. And uh, if you look down on the bottom screen, the higher level your Miasma is, like the faster your character goes. So, for the next two levels, I'm going to invest into Miasma armor, just so that my Harbinger go can go... Uh, before my Night Seeker. And so that my Night Seeker can have a higher chance of landing those ailments. Uh, so, with these guys, do I fight them up in front or in the rear? Karis is too busy staring at the enemy to act. I mean, maybe defending is better. She winds up just hiding behind her shield. Great, 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 great. So that sleep overrode the bind, the blind, which kind of sucks. <laughs> it's fine though. Thank you for for all your help, Tripper Skilled. Everyone fights so well. It was impressive watching you in action. I'm really nothing compared to all of you. Oh well. Maybe I'm not cut out to be an adventurer after all. Cars seems to be forcing a smile. Tell her she has potential or tell her she's overdoing say overdoing it. You know, Tripper Skilled, I thought you were nice, but you're actually kinda of mean. Wow. But I'm not giving up. Kara seems to, or Kara looks off to the horizon and mutters something to herself in a depressed tone. After all, there's a reason I have to become stronger. Maybe then they'll finally notice me. Yup, yup, I knew it. I knew it. She's she's like fighting to like try to impress someone or something like that. That's enough for today. I've done a fair bit of fighting. I'm sure you're probably tired too. 
I'll have something to take care of tomorrow, but once it's done, I'll be waiting around the forest entrance. Please come help me again. Cars waves to you then takes her leave. You can turn you can return to town or you can continue exploring the forest. Uh, let's explore. Explore some more. So is so is a good answer. An event in the middle of an empty room. As you explore the forest, you reach a clearing. There you see flowers blooming everywhere, almost like a garden. While admiring the beauty of flowers, you notice a box covered in vines at the center of the field. When you expect it, inspect it more closely. You notice that the vines are covered in sharp thorns, almost as if protecting the box. You want to open the box. If you want to open the box, you'll have to deal with those vines first. Let's remove them. Hinks, the night seeker, approaches the chest. With their impressive blade skills, they slice up the thorny vines. You collect the content contents of the box. Hamau. Satisfied, you take. You place your earnings into your backpack and return to explore. That's nice. I like Hamaus. Especially because they restore your TP. <laughs> oh, blindsided. Not good. I don't know if this team doesn't actually have like a straight up healer. Um, it's because there's a lot of passive healing going on here. Like the hero heals every turn with damage skills. And then the arcanist heals again at the end of the turn with their circle. If I really wanted to, my harbinger can use atonement also. It gets rid of their miasma armor and restores the party's HP. And that miasma armor, uh, it's like a buff the harbinger gets. You can see there over the portrait, it says three in the miasma armor. All it really does is it makes you faster and it enables some of your skills to have an additional effect, uh, such as landing elements with like paralyze, poison. You know, my uh, Harbinger, Harbinger doesn't have any of those unlocked. <laughs> so uh, doesn't really matter in his case. Yeah, I, mean, I just need it for the speed. <laughs> the miasma armor, that is. Oh, yes. Okay. Nanda? You come to a dead end in the forest and notice some peculiar fruit. They are dull brown and elliptical shaped, with skin covered in slightly coarse fuzz. You consider whether or not to try one. So what is that, kiwi maybe? Like fuzz? You pluck one of the fruits from its branch. When you slice it in half, you see that its insides are com um, comprised of juicy yellow-green flesh. The fuzzy skin is hard, but the inside is soft, and a refreshingly sweet smell tickle tickles your nose. You decide to take a bite. Hey. You take some time to indulge in the fruit and re relieve your fatigue before resuming your exploration of the forest. Brown fuzzy fruits. I'm pretty sure that's kiwi, right? Kiwi's the only fuzzy fruit. I can think of at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, so far, this isn't bad. <laughs> yeah, this isn't bad at all so far. But, uh, if I remember from three, remember correctly, there are these enemies, uh, Great Links. Does that ring a bell for anyone? Great Links. Um, so they uh, 
our lynxes. Whatever the plural form for lynx is. It's a lynx that, like, is very strong. Oh man. Uh, it can one shot your team members, basically. So, something I don't like about this team is that my only revivability is Dismiss Revive. But. It's not 100%. It's actually uh, not so decent percent of revive until I pump a, but, uh, pump a bunch of buttons into that ability. And uh, there's some, there's like a weird thing with that ability as well, where something like I think the data miners pulled out. It was like a 60% revive at level one. But, in reality, it's like 40%. Something like that, I forget the, the specifics. Just there was an interesting topic that was... I saw on Game Facts that was talking about their findings, like statistic findings. It was... It was a nerdy... <laughs> it was a nerdy post. And I like, I like those. I like those posts. Um, okay, so you come to a dead end in the forest uh, where you notice some peculiar fruit. They are a vivid purple color and are covered in what appears to be scales that jut outward like spikes or thorns. You consider whether or not to try one. So do you guys know what fruit looks like that? Maybe dragon fruit? No, dragon fruit's green, isn't it? Anyway. You pick one of the fruits off the branch. You cut into it and find that its innards are pale white flesh with a gelatinous consistency. Yeah, what kind of fruit is that? Someone tell me. <laughs> the flesh is dotted all over with tiny black seeds. It would be impossible to remove all of them from the flesh. He decided to take a bite of the fruit's flesh. More recovery. You take some time to indulge in the fruit and relieve your fatigue before resuming your exploration of the forest. You indulged in some fruit with scaly skin that you found while exploring the forest. Yeah, for real, I'm at a loss of what that could have could have been in, in real life. No idea. Oh, right, I can move my uh, Pugilist in the front. I hate vines. I hate it so much. So my Night Seekers in the back row because they actually have l really low defense. So it's good to bring them up to the front row when there's an enemy that has an ailment so they can uh, take advantage of that attack buff. And uh, when I say attack buff, I mean that uh, Night Seeker gets an ability they can put points in that increases the uh, damage they do for uh, to enemies with ailments. <laughs> I'll show you after these guys die. I think it's called proficiency. Yeah, Night Seeker, yep, proficiency. Uh, greatly increases damage to enemies suffering from ailments. It's a good ability. That uh, so is. I have it here, yeah, Shadow Cloak. Kind of lets your Night Seeker fight on the front line, so it like makes you invulnerable from physical attacks for three turns. Uh, well, it makes it so that you like dodge one attack, or one attack just doesn't doesn't really hurt you. Good for Night Seekers. And 
and, and again, yeah, it's only physical attacks, not elemental ones. These guys, they only blind you. It's annoying. by delivering them to the tavern. Oh. Alright, so my asthma armor. Uh, Pugilist. Honestly, they take a lot of skill points. I feel like. Pugilist. Like, like, you need to invest a lot of points before they get all the, all the good stuff. Curse is a really bad status element. Uh, let's see if this gets into a fight so I can explain why. <clears throat> you come across a dead end in the forest where you notice some peculiar fruit. You spot some yellowish fruits with large scraggly spikes jutting out all over them, uh, all over their skin. That makes them almost look like wep weapons. Do you consider whether or not you should try one? It sounds like a pineapple. You move closer to the fruit to harvest one, but as you do, they suddenly spring into action. Nope. It turns out they are monsters pretending to be fruit. And they are hostile to anything around them. They're clearly coming for you. You'll have to fight them here, or become their prey. Oh no, not these guys. Not these guys, <laughs> no. Everyone is blinded. It's great. I just wanted to get rid of the first line before making everyone attack the stream. Yeah, just auto 
the battle. Oh. I was holding A and I forgot to let go. Um, so you still stumbled upon and defeated some monsters that were camouflaged as spiky fruit. Forgot to put a, an event marker there. As you make your way through the vibrant forest, a group of soldiers approaches uh, appears before you. When the soldiers notice you, they approach you with a wave. Konnichiwa. Greetings, adventurers. We're currently conducting an investigation of the area ahead. There seems to be a dangerous monster roaming about, so we ask that you don't proceed any further until we're finished. The soldier bows to you. This is likely, likely to take some time. You decide to leave and resume your exploration. So I'm guessing that means go back to town. Mm. So you're the Tripper's Guild. He speaks to you in an almost accusatory turn. A accusatory? I, oh my god. I, you know, I can't read. You guys know my weakness by now. <laughs> anyway, um, and though short in stature, he has a powerful, piercing gaze. Tell me, and if, if an adventurer dies in the labyrinth because of their own inexperience, are they the ones to blame? I mean, I think. Maybe? I mean, or you can blame the monsters. It depends if you want revenge. It seems you have no choice but to answer. Not necessarily. The man appears to be irritated by your answer. What a waste of time. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do ya? He begins to walk away in disgust, but suddenly stops. A word of caution to you. Use your head. Think about the consequences of your actions. With those words, the man leaves. What did he mean by that? Questions flood your mind as you continue through town. Uh, I let's uh, accept these questions. Turn these questions. Good work. So this is what what that sleepyhead apothecary's wife is gonna use to wake him up, huh? Right then. I'm going over to their house right now to see how things turned out. Wait here. I'm back. By the great tree, that was awful. For starters, he woke up, so that's good. That brew was, t was a terrible, powerful thing, I swear. It must have been created in the depths of hell. What's that you say? It sounds awful? You're damn right it was awful. When the ap apothecary's wife started boiling those green thorns, it reeked to the high branches of the great tree. <laughs> Ugh, that orange stench could wake, uh, could wake the dead. Literally, it was so awful it shocked the corpse like Apothecary awake in a split second. The moment he was awake, he retched and threw up. His wife's so happy that she threw up, that I threw up just the side of it. <laughs> anyone, anyone would if they caught a, a whiff of that ungodly combined stench of green thorn and spilled vomit. Hell truly does exist in this world. I'm warning you now, do not go over there. Not unless you want to suffer the same disgusting fate. So, so, I suppose helping our fellow man made it uh, man made it all worth it in the end. Never dealing with Green Thorn again though. Oh my god, he's talking so much. That being said, here's your reward. What's wrong? You look pale. Oh. You can smell it on me, can you? Hey, Tusuma. Not bad. We are able to gather three gum throats. Give her the gum throats. Are you gonna cook it? Excellent guess. I'm gonna use it in a recipe. Oh, but don't misconstrue my intentions. Frog is certainly not my favorite food. 
The Waterfall Wood is uh, also a location near my hometown, Arma Road. There were frogs there as well. Back home, there was an easier... There was an eager... <laughs> not easier. <laughs> there was an eager woman who cooked up a dish with frog meat and cheerfully demanded that I eat it. I was shocked at first, but after a few bites, I found it surprisingly delicious ever since that day. I've enjoyed that dish now and then. Oh, this more talking. It's already been 40 minutes. <laughs> and I'm still talking to NPC. Yeah, but now I've come to Meginia, and she is still in armor. Uh, and such, I am... And she, she is still... Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and as such, I am unable to enjoy her cooking as I once did. That is why I decided to make it myself, hence my request. <laughs> that being said, I don't, I don't cook for myself all that often, so I don't know it. If I will do the recipe any justice. But I've gone on long enough, you're dang right. Your words are writing it's time for oh All the talking. <laughs> Strap shoes. Rashai! <laughs> それじゃ聞かせてくれる。どうするのかな。しっかりね。はい、スレスアンドゴ。はい、はい、朝までお休みだね。I as you step in, as you step into the labyrinth, a familiar voice calls out to you. Triple's Guild, I'm finished with my errands, so please let me fight with you again today. I feel like I've gotten a lot stronger after I went home and rested up. So It'll be nothing like last time, okay? So she's motivated, and let's. And we have to bring her again. Okay. I feel like my after images for my hero are worth more than her. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Some soldiers were doing some investigating up ahead, but they finished. We should be able to head through there now, but apparently there's a dangerous type of monster out there called the Great Lynx. I'm kind of glad they're in the game still. They're really scary, but I think soldiers are hold, holding their own against them by using fire. Oh. Those monsters sound like a serious threat. So today, I want to try fighting some of those. The ability to defeat strong monsters is a sign of strong... Oh my god, they talk so much. So we're going to kill Great Lynxes. Basically, I, I mean, I think these guys. She has abilities now. Thankfully. Okay. Ah, I guess auto attack is fine. Not bad. I like this dungeon so far. It's not bad. Hippo guy. Red hippo guy. Hmm. That's weird. So he takes a turn to face this direction, I guess? 
Ah, uh, there's one. Let's do this. Car seems especially far. Let's move some stuff around. wasn't a good idea. struggles to lift her head while watching uh, while catching her breath no not enough I want to keep going until we at least fight the stairs stairs for the next door Kara appears to be extremely motivated it seems that she's gonna stick with you uh, until you find the stairs to the next floor I mean fine it's fine by me what an easy chest <laughs> Ariane the Red. seems a bit depressed. Perhaps you should try giving her some advice. Gall guard while remaining calm. Gold uh, guard. Not gold. I don't even know where I'm getting that word from. Guard while remaining vigilant. That's my choice. Oh, okay. Guarding is about never taking my eye off of my opponent. Got it. I'll give that a try. See how good that try goes. battle, you look over at Karis. Though she appears tired, her eyes are fiery with enthusiasm. You decide to continue exploring until you find the stairs to the next floor. And there's a check. An event here, of course. As you explore the forest, you hear the chirping of a bird from somewhere nearby. Following the sound, you find that it's coming from a little chick at the base of this tree. You look up to see a nest on the lower branch. The chick seems to have fallen from here, from there. You consider whether or not you should climb the tree and return the chick to its nest. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, hinks, because they're a night seeker and they can probably move well. They reach the nest without difficulty and successfully return the chick to its nest. a solid reward for your act of goodwill you return to your exploration I 
think that was an event, right? Yeah, it happened there. Yep. Hippo. weird movement that this uh, hippo does. Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. And I was blindsided. <laughs> blindsided. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make Karis use Painless. It reduces, well, it makes everything do zero damage. Basically. So you want to pay attention while you're playing. Don't be like me. <laughs> Don't be like me who messed that up. Messed uh, something easy up. It's a story of my life, man. Shortcut works too. Copper, good. Cathartic necklace. Huh. Wonder what that does. I'm messing up my map. <laughs> Cool. So I think three had like a hidden area in the middle of the map too. Okay. Sleep and woke up to a punch to the face, and then went back to sleep. Uh, what was I doing? Okay. So these lynxes have been a pushover so far. Yeah. <laughs> They're not so bad. Yet. And a level. Alright, after image is finally maxed out. I hope you guys remember what that is. Um, they're basically clones that the hero can summon. And empty slots for uh, some of some of his abilities gave him an increased chance of uh, summoning that after image. I feel like I'm saying everything wrong. <laughs> uh, we'll see. Oh, 
70 damage. Jesus. Uh, before I go this way, though, let me go back. This seems like it's the right way to go. Oh, never mind. <laughs> And I mapped this wrong. So let me guess, there's gonna be a hippo at the end of this hall. Yeah, there is. Ah. But if I move this way... Yeah, alright. In the forest, you find a nice shady area by a tree where a pleasant breeze blows. You consider whether to take a rest here or just to continue onward. Yeah, let's rest. You sit on the shade, the refreshing breeze flows over you, relieving your fatigue. Not bad. <laughs> ah, this is great. I feel like when I'm coming back to life, as if she's been dead before. I mean, I know what she means, but anyway. Uh, refreshed by your enjoyable breeze, you return to your, your exploration with renewed energy. That's nice. Nice of the developers to put that there. There it is. My ticket out of here. Wrong icon. <laughs> did I even do that right? I did not. Um, I wonder if I should use my force boost. This next fight. Man, you know, I keep marking these doors wrong. I hope you're not watching me for the maps. <laughs> Wait, these guys are gonna get some kind of force boost. Just because looking at the map, we're almost done. And, yeah. These guys. I changed her mind. Uh, so we're gonna try to sleep the links. Yeah. 
So I bet I slurred a lot this video, huh? Like slurred talk. Uh, I don't know why. Actually, just, I'm a little tired, but not that tired. Getting clays in the back, my harbinger. This is good. Shadow Bite so far. <laughs> I like this team a lot actually. I like overwhelming enemies with elements or status effects and all that. It's fun. Okay, more points. Hazards of the forest, you stand before a staircase that leads downward. Oh, we finally found the path to the next floor. Kara seems happy about experiencing so many battles, but her tone quickly grows grows depressed. Oh. It's all thanks to you that I even got this far, Tripper's Guild. Could it be that I wasn't any help at all? To be honest, no, she wasn't actually. I knew it. After hearing your reply, Kara <laughs> seems downtrodden, but I think the experience I gained here has made me stronger. I really need uh, I really believe that. Kara turns to look at you as she continues talking. By exploring this floor alongside uh, you, it feels like I was able to give, uh, I was able to make some progress. I wonder if he'll acknowledge me now, so the ninja guy, but definitely gonna be the ninja guy you gave Karis a puzzled look oh didn't I tell you the reason why I wanted to get stronger it was all for him well I mean he's something like a brother to me since we grew up together I came here to Megidia <laughs> to go adventuring with him but he told me I wasn't experienced enough but I really really wanted to go with him so I asked for your help in training in training me if I get stronger, he'll acknowledge my skill and take me adventuring with him. Trippers Guild, thank you so much for everything you've done. I have something to take care of tomorrow, but please help me again once I've finished. Kara smiles and waves to you before exiting the labyrinth. You can either return to town or continue exploring here. Now let's go back to town. Wait, why am I even trying to use a nectar? What am I doing? I want to use the Ariane thread. <laughs> I I swear I had so many brain farts. This run. Let's register the map. Hmm. Got gold. Okay, let's sell this stuff and then call it quits. Curious. Huh. 
Uh, anyway, yeah, let's rest. Let's call it quits here. <laughs> this is kind of long. It's been more than an hour. Just barely over an hour. Uh, yeah, this is, so this is my new team. Very status effect focused. And uh, exploiting enemies that have status effects. Uh, yeah. So thanks for coming. I hope it was a little fun. Just a little though, not not too much. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll see you guys later. Whenever whenever that is. <laughs> <laughs>